Today we're taking a look at the Nylon Midi Stevie from Mina Bay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and on this channel we talk about everything from product reviews, back reviews and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing, especially because this packing video is going to kick off a series on this channel all about lightweight backpacks. So if you're looking for a lightweight backpack, you've come to the right place. Every day for the next week, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite lightweight backpacks, and then at the end of the week, we're gonna compare all of them to each other. I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's go ahead and kick it off with how I pack up the Nylon Stevie from Mina Bay. This is a brand new style that was just released. Um, it's super lightweight, it has some great leather details, and I'm gonna show you how I have it all packed up. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and start with the very front pocket. The front pocket of this bag is going to have two slip pockets, and in one slip pocket I have my charger for my cell phone. Next to this pocket is the key leash. It looks like this, and I have my Hello Happy Mom Lippy Clip on there, as per usual. You can still snag these, actually, um, at lippyclip.com. I'll link it all in the description box down below for you guys. Over in the next slip pocket, I have two pins. These are my favorite pins. And then I have three lip glosses because no one can ever have too many. So two, three, I think I might actually even have a lipstick. Let's see, I do. Yeah. Okay, so three lip glosses and a lipstick. Here's a better look at those two slip pockets. And here is my Touchland hand sanitizer. There is a good amount of space in this front pocket. In fact, I keep um, a package, a like, flat package of Kleenex here in the side pocket, and I'm pretty sure it would just fit without a problem in addition to all that other stuff here in the front too. So I like to keep the outside of the bag very nice and sleek. Um, I love the clean lines of the bag. The pockets have magnets on the inside, so when you're not using them, um, they actually hold close to the bag. One last thing I wanted to mention about the front of the bag is this front pocket is kind of sunken down so it's a hidden pocket. You almost can't see right off hand until you look down and then you can see that gold zipper. I just love the aesthetic of this bag, it is so good. So I have my daughter's sippy cup on the inside because I love how the pockets have magnets so that it holds it close to the bag and it doesn't have like a gaping open pocket or anything like that. But this is what the side of the bag looks like. And speaking of the side of the bag, this little piece right here that's folded down is magnetized down. So when you're not using it, or so when it's not as full, um, it can actually just go to the side of the bag. I just love that. I love the clean lines of the bag so, so much. Um, as you see at the front of the bag, there is a foil embossed name um, of the company, Muna Bay, Los Angeles. And you'll also find their name engraved on the zipper pulls as well. The leather details are really nice. Um, and as I turn the bag around to the back, you see a couple of the options that you have on how to carry it. It comes with a shoulder strap, and it also comes with two backpack straps, which are totally detachable, because it also comes with a crossbody strap. So you can remove the backpack straps just like so. Behind the backpack strap, there is a slip pocket, and in this slip pocket, I have a small packing case from Lily Jade, and this just has activities for my kiddos. This slip pocket is really nice because it is also magnetized. At the bottom of the bag, you can see that it is also a trolley sleeve. So you can unzip it and you can then slip it um, right over the handle of your luggage and use it for travel. On the bottom, you'll also see four gold feet, um, which help keep your bag you know, lifted off the ground and clean. Back on the back of the bag, there is also a pocket right here. And in this pocket, I just have some sanitizing wipes because it's COVID time. What's neat about this pocket is it's lined in neoprene, um, which they say is good to insulate. So it'll keep things warm or cold, um, and you can put bottles and such in this pocket as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside the bag. You do have two zipper pulls, and I can open it up pretty wide for us so we can see down in there. And the very first thing I'm gonna take out so we can get a better view is my massive wad of keys. I have my Oventure key ring. Oventure also recently came out with a no touch tool. I have that here. I have my fobs, I have my keychains. Okay, 
Now that that's out, here's a look at the inside of the bag. The inside of the bag is going to have lots of pockets. I can't wait to show you my favorites, but let me start kind of pulling things out and we can talk about it. Let's start with the back of the bag and move our way forward. So in the back of the bag, um, there is a padded pocket here, which is perfect for technology. I right now have my medium packing case from Lily Jade that has all of my potty training gear inside of it, but I could grab my kiddo's iPad and the iPad would fit in this back pocket and be padded and secure and it does have this little wrap that fastens it into place. In the back of the bag there's also a zippered pocket and um, the zippers on this bag are really nice and smooth. I actually don't have anything in that zippered pocket right now so I'm going to go ahead and just zip that back up. Also on the back of the bag there are two more elastic pockets. Um, in this elastic pocket I have bobby pins, a lip gloss, a foldable hairbrush, and then my little um, sheets of soap. In the pocket next to it, I have this little random indoor-outdoor like surface cleaner, just in case we're out and about, which is rare these days. Um, and then I have all of the masks for my family, for my kids and my husband. Um, now you can see inside even better um, as we work our way forward. I have my daughter's sippy cup right here. And right next to it is an elastic pocket where I could have put her cup, but I didn't. <laughs> and there's another elastic pocket on this side, which is also empty. And I have my little small pouch from 12 Little that has all of our med supplies inside. So this gives you a good look at the amount of space in there. I'm gonna turn the bag around so we can see the other side because these pockets are my absolute favorite. At the top of the bag, there is a zippered pocket right here. It's shallow and it sits right above the elastic pocket beneath it. I just have my pill container in here and a lip balm. But I love that it's small and it's zippered and my kids won't get into that without me knowing. In the slip pocket next to it, it is a perfect place for my mask. Um, so if I need to run into somewhere, I can grab my mask really quickly out of that pocket. And then I also have my Touchland hand sanitizer. So I love having those right on top so I can just kind of grab them and run. Underneath is the two elastic pockets I was mentioning. And in this first one, I have my Tubby Todd um, hand cream, which is so, so good. It's my favorite. Um, and then I also have another lip balm. I feel like I have lip glosses just basically everywhere in this bag. <laughs> Um, and then next to it, I have my Mina wallet in the other little elastic pocket. And if you haven't already seen the Mina wallet, I have a whole video over on my channel. I'll link it in the cards. Um, I've been using this for a couple of months now and I absolutely love it. It is so, so good. And I have it in the color nude. So now that everything is out of there, here's a good view of the entire bag. Um, the elastic pockets, like I mentioned, you have six of them two on this side, two on that side, and then one on either side of the bag, and then a lot of space. So I think it's great. I think this bag is a midi size, so do remember if you have multiple kiddos or you're an overpacker, you may wanna look for a bag that is a full size, um, but this is the midi size for Mina Bay, so it is going to be more of like a medium range or a medium size bag. Um, but I have been absolutely loving it because I do have three kiddos, but my oldest kiddo is seven, five, and then I have a two-year-old. So I don't want to say I'm getting out of the diaper bag stage, but I will say that I'm kind of paring down on what I need to carry. So this bag has been working really, really well. I'm going to insert some photos of what it looks like when I'm wearing it. Um, but I love the nylon. It is very high quality, very durable, and super lightweight. So I just love it so much. Okay, guys, so that is it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos all about lightweight backpacks. I'll see all of you guys again in my next one. Bye!